Hello my lovelies, I hope you're well. Today I am going to be doing for you another hair tutorial and this is going to be featuring Love Hair Extensions. Now I went to an event a couple of weeks ago where they showed me how to put in these extensions and little tips for cutting them into your hair, clipping them in securely and the colours of shades that you want to use. So that was really helpful as we had three different models with different um, coloured hair, different styles and different lengths. So it showed how you can add extensions either to add length into your hair, volume or just change up your style. As my hair is quite long, as you can see, even though I've had the chop, well a chop <laughs> recently, it's still um, I'd say about 18 inches because the extensions I have here are 18 inches. And when I put them in, they're about the same length as my hair. So before I think my hair was about 22 inches, it was like down to my waist. So I've had about four inches off it. So at the moment, I don't really want to add too much length. It's already pretty long. But as you can see, especially when I straighten it, it does get pretty thin at the ends because it is so layered, like you can see these top bits are really short. So I like to add a little bit of volume. And then another thing that I learnt at um, the event is how you can use light coloured extension to create more depth and also instant highlights. So I'm just going to show you today how I do that using the Love Hair extensions. And these are like the baby or sister company of American Dream. Many of you may have heard of American Dream already. They're being sold at Sally's and also through their own website. But uh, many of the extensions are kind of bulk and wholesale or you have to sew on your clips. Whereas these are targeted straight for consumers. They also um, have more hair choice in terms of like wavy or straight or even relaxed um, like Afro-Caribbean hair. And also um, different lengths. And each one comes separately. So this is just one weft and you can get... Um, both a real hair and a thermofiber hair. Um, I'm going to be using mostly thermofiber hair. Um, for length, I would say that you need two to three wefts, and for volume, three to four would be the best, but it depends on the size of your head and how much hair you have. So um, I like to use about four. So I'm just going to show you, this is a new pack that I just got, and they come like this. This is the thermofiber, and you get a little book clip telling you how to put them in, even with little diagrams. They're really nicely packaged with little bows and they come in a hairnet, which is really useful because I actually use the hairnet to store them. So once removed from the packaging, this is what the hair looks like in its little net. And here it is. As you can see, it's a little bit smushed because it has been rolled up in the packaging. Um, but this thermofiber hair, of course, is very ethical because it isn't real hair. This is the size of one weft, and this is the 18 inch length. It's super, super silky and smooth. If I put it in front of the light, you can see just how super shiny it is. And it is specially treated so that you can heat it, style it up to 170 degrees. So I have used hot rollers on this before, and I have straightened it, and I have curled it. And it holds the shape really well. It actually holds the curl. Um, up until you next wash it. And on the website, you can see that there are special products for washing and conditioning the hair, but they're really cheap, just a couple of pounds each, because you don't need to do it that often. I mean, it depends how often you wear them. But there's one. I'm just gonna get them all out now and show you. So this is two pieces in the color of Topaz, and they are 18 inches. Once I put them in, they add really nice, subtle, instant highlights without me having to dye my hair at all. This hair is also thermofiber and this is also 18 inches but in the color rich copper and as you can see it kind of blends in with my own hair really well. So this is the color for me if you're wondering. So I add this one just to add a little more volume and break out um, the highlights that I'm going to be using. And this one, last one as you can probably tell because it's not quite as shiny, is actually human hair. And this is the 22 inch piece, and it is in medium brown. Now let me tell you, if I had hair like this naturally, I would be such a happy camper. <laughs> it is so smooth and silky, yet it is quite thick. I don't know if you'll be able to see. 
but it straightens. I've curled it before, as you can see, the ends are a little bit curled so well. You can treat it just like your own hair, and it is also ethically sourced. As you can see, I have three different colours to clip in, but that's because I got samples and they um, didn't really colour match me because it was quite dark and we're in a bit of a rush. So um, ultimately, I probably wouldn't get this colour because it is far too dark for me, but I like to add it just so uh, my hair has a bit of uh, low lights in it. The first one I'm going to put in is the 20 inch is the dark brown one just because I want my hair to be darker at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is just take a clip and the lowest piece is just going to go um, near the bottom of my ear. It of course depends on you how many pieces you want to put in and where you start. If you don't have a lot of hair and you want to build length rather than volume, I would say start nearer the bottom because at the top of your hair is very short and thin, it's very difficult to mask it. If you have a really short piece here on the side, it's not going to cover something like this clipped under it. So I would say if you have very short hair, um, you'd only go up to about here, no higher. But for me, as my hair is quite long and there's quite a lot of it, it doesn't really matter. Now each weft comes with six little clips and I really like these because they are so small and comfortable. And all I do is take the two middle ones and just slide them into my hair here. Yeah? I'll just wiggle them in a little bit and then press. And then I do the next two. And then the last two. Just in here. I'm going to use the next piece. So I'm going to put all my hair down now. And the next section I'm going to take is from near the top of my hair here. Now I've already teased my hair a little bit just because I like big hair and I don't like it to be too flat. As you can see, I'm not very neat when I put them in. <laughs> um, just because it's quite easy to do and you don't really need to have a straight line, they will stay in anyway. So I'm just unclipping and I'm taking the topaz colour, which is one of the lighter colours. And I'm going to clip it in here. Starting off with the middle again. Then the next two. And you don't have to fit them right at the root, as long as you kind of wiggle them in a little bit, it really doesn't matter too much. And then the last two. Of course, if you have very thin hair and you think you're not going to have enough hair to kind of clip onto, then I would recommend you um, back comb it quite a lot so that there's um, enough for the hair to grip to. As you can see, this hair is very light and looks a bit strange now. But if I kind of brush it all together, you can see how it's adding an instant highlight to my hair. Now we're going to do the next section and for this I'm going to use the um, piece of hair that's the same colour as mine. And that's just going to go just below the temple here. And the last one, I'm just going to add another light section right at the top so I'm just taking the very top part of my hair up so now that they're in the trick is to just brush them through really really thoroughly because you want to blend them into your existing hair now I just went and had a look at it quickly um, in the mirror and I have to say that on the camera the orange shows up really orange I don't know if I maybe get back a little the glare from the oh no it's still looking really obvious but I uh, promise you that in real life it does not look this strange also once you style it for example you can imagine that if I plaited this now I'd have a really nice thick plait and it's just so silky and smooth it feels so much nicer than my real hair but you can see all the different colours in there and it's a nice thick plait and it looks super cute. So I really like doing that if I want to beef up my hairstyle. Even for an updo, um, you could do a really nice thick bun with these in. And having the co lighter colours, you know, if you can see, just makes it have a lot more texture and depth. That so makes your hair look much more interesting and fun. So this is a great way to put highlights in your hair. 
for a very affordable price. The last thing I'm going to do now is just show you how um, I would just straighten them. I've already put them on, they're a little bit curly because the last time I wore them they were curly. And I'm just going to straighten the ends so they blend in with my hair. This is what it looks like now that it's been straightened. I don't know. Oh, the glare from the lamp is just making it look really orange and it really isn't that orange at all. It just looks like I have highlights in my hair. I shall show you from the back as well. And you can see how much more hair I have. Of course, if you're on a budget, the thermofiber hair is uh, more affordable and you can still style it. But personally, I would just recommend the human hair just because it feels absolutely lovely and you don't have to worry about it if you forget to um, set the heat at the right amount. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini review and tutorial. I have to say I really highly do recommend this brand just because it is so affordable and accessible because you can get it on the internet. Also, um, I like the way they sell the weft separately. So if you want to get a few just for like a few subtle highlights like I've done here, then you can just get two wefts and put those in your hair, just add a little bit of volume and color or you can pick like two different shades to put throughout your hair um, like one slightly lighter, one slightly darker than your hair if you're adding length so it just looks more natural and um, you can also uh, choose the length so you can have some that are 18 inches, some that are 20 inches um, if you have short hair and you want to extend it I would recommend doing that instead of getting everything that's 20 inches because it can give you that kind of um, mullet effect where your hair is short and then suddenly all the pieces are long so you can get a range of 16, 18 and 20 inch if you want to extend in that much so you can get kind of one of each or maybe a 16 and an 18 and then two of the 20 so that the ends don't look too thin but yeah you can just play around and um, choose the things that you want just make sure that you have a really good look at the website in terms of the colours there are more colours available in the thermofiber at the moment than the uh, real hair and luckily they say that if um, you actually buy it they have a return policy that if it doesn't match your hair you can send it back and get another one so yeah thank you very much for watching guys and I shall see you all soon bye